Hi everyone, a very warm welcome to all of you. I am Dr. Arpita and today we are going to discuss about the ultrastructure of fungal cells. As we all know, fungi are achlorophyllous, that means they are devoid of chlorophylls, heterotrophic eukaryotic thallophytes. Now here we will talk about the various components of the fungal cell and learn about their structures. So starting with cell wall, the cell walls of fungi are semi-crystalline structures with crystalline parts consisting of microfibrils. In majority of fungi, the wall lacks cellulose but contains a form of chitin known as fungal cellulose or fungus cellulose which has a chemical formula of C22H54N21 whole N. The microfibrils are made up of chitin, mannans, glucans and proteins and are embedded in an amorphous matrix. In lower fungi, the chief cell wall component is cellulose where glucan predominates. Fungal hyphae grow by extending the tip followed by formation of septa or cross walls that contain pores which allow transportation of cellular materials. That means the pores on the cross walls establish connection between the two cells. Outside the cell wall, fimbri are present that play an important role in cell to cell conjugation. Now, if you take a look at the diagram, you will understand the basic structure of the cell wall. Next, coming to plasma membrane. Inner to the cell wall lies the plasma membrane or cell membrane that is extremely thin, delicate and protects the protoplast. So it is the living part of the cell. It is semi permeable and allows transport of materials in and out of the cell. Cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is colorless and contains multiple vacuoles, organelles and cytoplasmic inclusions. Chlorophylls are absent and cell organelles include mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, Golgi apparatus and nucleus. Now we will talk about each of these organelles in little more details. Endoplasmic reticulum. It consists of interconnected microtubules with vesicles. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is associated with ribosomes. That is why it is called rough otherwise it had it would have been called smooth. ER is usually more irregular in fungi if you compare it with plant endoplasmic reticulum. Next mitochondria. These are double membrane bound small spherical bodies that serve as the powerhouse of the cell. It has mitochondrial DNA that codes for specific proteins. The outer it has got two membranes the outer and inner membrane the inner membrane folds in and contain and form structures called cristae which is very much similar to other eukaryotic cells. Then Golgi apparatus these are less commonly found membranous structures membranous means stacks of membrane that help in intracellular transport and extracellular secretion. Vacuoles are there, these are, membrane, uh, these are membrane bound structures, usually the membranes are uh, like unit membranes and it is known as stonoplast that contains hydrolytic enzymes and glycogen. Coming to cytoplasmic inclusions, the cytoplasm contains inclusions like lipid droplets, glycogen, trihalose, volutin and proteinaceous material. Then the last component here we will talk about nucleus. The cytoplasm contains one, two or more globos or ellipsoid nuclei which is usually one to three micrometer in diameter. It consists of central dense body, chromatin threads and nuclear membrane. The nuclear membrane is bilayered and chromosomes are associated with basic histone proteins. So this is how we complete the study of the ultrastructure of fungal cells. Please take a close look of the diagrams, practice the diagrams along with their 
labels till then thank you if you have any confusion any doubts please get back to me in the comment section till then bye bye